Hey, what is up, YouTube? True Power Shad here, bringing you a um, tutorial on how to get Fubuki Shiro or Fubuki, whatever you like to call him, in Inzim 11 Go to Chroma Stone. Now, um, you need to do a few things before recruiting him. The first and foremost thing you must do is um, complete the uh, main story of the game. That um, once you beat the main story of the game, it allows you to unlock plenty more characters and do um, extra route matches. So that's a good thing. Um, the second thing you want to do, you want to go in time and go to the um, old Raymond Soccer Club, and just come to, and then just talk to this guy. Those are the first two th main things you have to do. And um, as you can see here, we can recruit uh, Fubiki from these guys. And um, I'm just going to show you. Wait, before that, um, <laughs> okay. See, it's actually you have to do one more thing before this. See how there's three people here. Um. Yeah, you have to. Wait, damn it! I'm screwing up. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, see these people here? They will not be here when you open this off. You do everything I've told you. You won't see these guys. Will be just question marks. So what you have to do before then, you have to recruit three people from from anywhere in this area. So I can recruit you, you, and you, and then um, it would um unlock Fubik, um unlock all the characters for me um back here. So you want these guys will be question marks. You unlock three other characters, they'll appear. So that's what you have to do. It could be any three; it doesn't really matter. But anyway, we'll go to Fubuki now. As we can see, I have all the requirements for Fubuki. Um, these flags mean you have to go find where that player is. He can be anywhere in the game. So what I will do in this video, I'm going to show you the locations of where Fubuki is. Um, you won't see him on my screen because I already have uh, Fubuki, and I regret deleting him now because I thought I could go back to. <laughs> back to recruit, but don't worry, I saved my game in advance, so, um, yeah, I'll go to, um, each of the locations, and we'll, uh, be right back, and also, you must do this in order, the exact order I do it, so, keep that in mind, so, we'll, uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so the first location of Fubuki is actually in France, and, um, he's actually in this area here, he should be standing right around here. Um, also keep in mind you do have to pay for him first, even though you don't get him, you have to pay for his scout card first. Um, in that menu one before you just pay for it, it's 2,000 whatever it is, 2,000 friendship points or money or whatever it is. And, uh, Fubuki will be standing right here, um, in the, um, Raymond Sego uniform, you talk to him, and then he leaves and you unlock the first flag. So that's what you have to do. And now, we'll, um, I will go to the second location and we'll be right back. We are about to enter the next location. This next location is in China. For those who don't know, um, it's the place where you unlock, um, where you unlock um, Teo's Mixy Max from slash Hakaru's. And by the way, this works works in both versions of the game. Anyway, you will exit the time machine, and uh, Fubuki will be just standing right around here. Uh, you talk to him, and that will unlock the second flag for you. Um, like I said, I've already recruited Fubuki and gotten all the four flags already, and. Um, so that means I do not have to, like, he will not appear for me again. I've already talked to him four times. So, um, yeah, he, he's definitely here. Trust me on this. Um, but, yeah, just try it out for yourself. Once you, um, pay for a scout card, he will definitely be in these locations. And once again, do it in the exact order of mine doing it. Otherwise, this will not work. Anyway, we'll be back at the next location. Okay, we are about to approach our, um, third location here. Um, for this location, you must go to the, um, England era and, um, Go to the soccer field, I'm not going to say what you, who you fight here, because I don't want to spoil it for the people who are watching my walkthrough, so, um, yes, um, what you'll do, you'll approach here, and uh, Fubuki will be standing right here, just, just looking at the soccer field, you talk to him, and that unlocks you the third flag, which means you have one more flag to go, and you have nearly gotten Fubuki, it's very good that Fubuki is a player that you only need to find flags for, that makes it much easier than every other character to recruit. So Fubuki is a very easier character to go for, so you might as well just recruit him if you do have a copy of Chroma Stone. Anyways, we'll be right back once again. Okay, we are just we are about to approach the final location. As you can tell, we're in we are in the Jurassic era, um, because there's dinosaurs around and that. Okay, so what you would like to do, you just have to go to this location here. Um, I will most likely put a point on this where the map is. Um, so what you do, you walk over here, and this is where Fubuki will be standing right here, and uh, you talk to him, and then you'll be able to unlock Fubuki, because this is the fourth and final flag you need to unlock Fubuki. Um, the way to get to this area, because this is a bit more difficult to find uh, my other characters, you go to the route I just took, and um, to get from there, um, well, I'll just do it again for you guys. You 
Go to, um, damn it, okay. Go to there on the map, where that's flashing. So you just press A on that. You'll spawn here, or you get taken to here. I'll uh, just walk down, uh, follow the path I take, as I'll show you right now. Um, walk along here, go down, turn here. Um, there's a hole in the side of this wall, you can't see it, and just walk into it. Walk around here. And like I said, Fubuki will be standing right here. And um, once you've done that, you're almost done. What you'll have to do next is press the X, um, go into your menu, look here, click side, press A, go down to where all your player scout cards is. Um, go to wherever you have Fubuki, and um, you just press A on him, and then it will unlock Fubuki for you. It'll add, it'll add him. And him straight to your team, so or your party or whatever. So um, that is how you unlock Fubuki Shiro. I hope this um, tutorial helped you guys who asked for it. Um, also, I'll leave a link to the wiki that I use to um, find Fubuki in the, the download description below. The download description, the description below. Anyway, guys, I hope that this um, helped you out in um, some way, shape, or form. And remember, if you're trying to recruit a player and has a flag, you just have to go and look for him around in the overworld and talk to him. Um, a lot of play players require this, which is um, pretty good. It makes it easier than finding a certain item, and etc. And um, one thing I'll quickly mention. Um, we're, okay, we'll just go to a player who has a crown. Um, wait, give me a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, see how Endo has a crown there? Um, that's an achievement. Um, once you complete that achievement, that's you. You know, you can go to the next step. And, um, yep, yeah, that's all it is to it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and, um, like I said, I hope this helped you recruit Fubuki Shiro. Anyways, this is True Pirate Shad signing out. Peace.